Hey guys, welcome to week one of March of the Runners. Congratulations if you decided to take on this challenge. So for the first week, we're going to be doing 25 minute runs. It doesn't matter how far or how fast you're running, we just want to be doing 25 minutes. So if you're an experienced runner, what we want you to be doing is trying to keep a constant pace throughout the whole run. And if you're newer to running, just try and do five minutes running and a one minute break and then repeat. Anyways, on to you, Cooper. So what do you need in order to go for a run? I think you guys would need probably some good running shoes. You'd need some pants, uh, like sport pants or stuff. You get some good sweaters for if it's like winter time and it's cold out. And for the summer, get some t-shirt and shorts and you should be okay. Okay, awesome. Um, what's the, how do you motivate yourself to go for a run? Uh, I think the best way to motivate is to start with just what kind of things you want to accomplish. Like if you want to get better just starting with like a five minute or ten minute run and then after that you could be like if I want to do half a kilometer after you do you start getting good at your timing runs and then slowly motivate yourself and get further up. Good answer. Is there anything you wish you knew when you started running? Like what advice would you give to new runners? I uh, definitely start with timing before you start with kilometers because I usually start going with the one or two kilometer like straight before I actually would do timing runs like just five or ten minutes at a time so start with that. All right so after you do your runs usually it's a good idea to really get yourself good stretches. So one of the main ones you use would be the calf stretch so you really got to push into the wall and it'll stretch pretty much right under your kneecap all the way up to kind of where your hip is. And another good one is to do the toe pull up because it kind of does the same thing but you really need to stretch right in from like kind of your ankle area all the way up your leg because that's the part that usually they strain the most whenever you're running. Remember to also be safe on the road guys so run against traffic so on the left side of the road wear reflective clothing so not hit not black black clothing at midnight or something like that and also try and avoid using earbuds so then you could hear what's going on around you. Then just before you guys go, we're just going to remind you to join St. Mike's Runners 2021 on Strava so you could track your runs and to track your runs, you're going to want to write R, then the number of the run, and then any title after that you want. Thanks guys.